How do you guys carry the momentum from the weekend to this one tonight? Yeah, I thought we played a good game last game, and um, you know I think we just got to have the same mindset. We had to come to the rink tonight and prepare to, to work hard. Um, playing a pretty good hockey team tonight. Rick talked about the composure you guys had even down two after two in that game. Is that something that can sort of serve you well going forward here as the games get more and more important down the stretch? Yeah, I think we found ourselves uh, in that losing streak down you know, a few different times and um, we weren't able to come back. So just uh, the fact that we kept pressing and kept pushing and, and got that win was huge for our group. You look power play units. What do you make of uh, some changes on the, the man advantage? And what do you guys need to do to get back to being successful either way? Yeah, I think we're all aware that we haven't been good, uh, good enough for our team. And we've been you know, taking a momentum away from our team. So, um, you know, we just got to make sure whoever goes out there that we get momentum for our team and, and hopefully put the puck in the net. Paul keeps talking about attack mode. Brock, after you guys get shots away, is that something that has to get ingrained in the way you play on the power play? Yeah, I think. I think. Defend now? Yeah, I think uh, just recognizing when you know you, you beat a guy or you know, kind of get the penalty kill where you want. Um, we gotta make sure we get a puck to the net or uh, you know know that next play that that we can create off of it. So um, we definitely need to have the mindset of shooting pucks and getting guys to the net right now. What uh, JT and, and what he was able to do Saturday, he seems to have been really consistent since the All Star break and, and really all year. When he's running like that, do you guys feed off him? Yeah, I mean, um, anytime he's uh, flying around trying to hit guys, and um, you know he's, you know, has a puck in the offensive zone and making plays. It's, uh, I think, it gives momentum for our team, and you know, as, at least for me, I can feel it on our line. And I, I thought we were, um, you know, trying to push a pace and just, you know, try and get that first one and get our team back in the game. Offensively, for you, goal scoring wise, there's, you know. You started out really well, and then maybe not uh, as many since the All-Star break. To get those two, what does that do for you going forward? Yeah, I think it gives me confidence. Uh, obviously, I know I wasn't producing as much, and you know that's something that um, you know I was thinking of. And you know, I think just hard work, getting back to playing hard, and make sure you're moving and not thinking is uh, you know, the way to get out of that. And um, luckily, I got a few. Uh, Rick, I guess we'll just get started with your expectations. From this is the most veteran team in the NHL with the Pittsburgh Penguins in town. What does a veteran team bring to a game tonight? <laughs> Well, I mean, just over the years, uh, watching and being around those guys or even watching from afar, you know, they got a core group that doesn't get, you know, they don't get antsy in games. And they, you know, they got that pedigree and it's uh, it's experience. It goes a long way. Um, it looks like the power play is kind of split up from what we saw at practice today. Uh, I guess, can you walk us through your thought process of kind of splitting it up? It almost feels well, like. Well, I think sometimes you need a breather from each other. Some guys need to maybe have their own units, take a shot at it, see how it works. I mean, it's only practice, but I thought uh, I thought it looked, one side looked really good, so hopefully it works out. But I, I think there's nothing wrong with it. Um, plus, it gives you know, it gives a little freshness to it. And um, I saw a little juice out there from some guys, so we'll see how it works. I uh, wanted to ask about JT Miller a little bit as yeah. well. He's one of the more experienced playoff players on this team and on this roster. At this point in the season, uh -huh. are you seeing his game change to to kind of take on more <clears throat> leadership, or is it just he's just playing well? Like, what is it with his game? Well, he drives play. If you look, the even went through our little slump. I mean, he was you know he was a play driver. Um, you know, he's f first on the four check. Like he's re he's really willed his his last game was like you know obviously he was a big reason why we won. Um, I think he had what eight or nine hits and you know, got three points and you know he's an all around game. But I think the last especially the last three four games you could tell that he's really he wants to amp it up here for the last twenty. You know he you know he wants to get you know. He wants people to get on his back and let's go. You know, I, I, you need players like that. Rick, you played in Philadelphia, a city yeah. where the fans eat their own. So you know what it's <laughs> like. You know what it's like to play there. You know what it's like to be criticized there. When you first came here, one of your first things you said to us was you wanted to control the noise. You wanted to have an environment for your players where they can play in a hockey-mad market, not worry about speculation of what's out there. Having said that, do you feel you have to talk to somebody like Patterson, who, again, is the subject of so much rampant <clears throat> speculation out there? Do you have to take him aside or, or just let him go? Yeah, it's, it's PD as anybody. I think you have to really be in tune with your players. A lot of one-on-ones with your players, especially when things don't go your way. Um, and it's hard. I know every reads social media and, uh, you know, the good or bad. You know, you got to be careful when you're, you're going good. You know, you don't, you know. Sometimes I've seen it the other way where you're going good, you forget your details, and all of a sudden you slump. So I think it's both ways. But, yeah, I mean, Pete, he's been here five years. He knows, the, the, you know, the market. And, uh, you know, you insulate yourself in the room. 
that's the best way to insulate yourself. You know, have uh, you know, you try to create a safe environment here for the guys in the sense of keep the noise outside. It's hard, but uh, you know, you got to do it. How do you assess McKeev on his wing, though? We know about the twenty-eight games, but he yeah. he was better last game. McKeev, you do you keep him there, or what do you do? Yeah, I think you want to see if you can put put another. You know, I thought he I thought he made strides last game. So the, the next step is can he play another game like that? You know, uh, it's no different our team. You know, we had a really good game against Boston. You know, can we have another good game? So it's no different than McKay. We have a we have it's not just Mac. There's about four or five guys I think that they were better last game, but we got we need some more consistent effort from some some guys here, more detailed. With JT, you mentioned that yeah. um, you know he wants guys to get on his back. Do you get the sense that they are that they feed off his energy when he's going the way he has been? Yeah, I do. I, f I find when he has a couple of good shifts together. Um, and does what we ask, you know, the next line will follow. Um, I think Garland's another guy, you know, the, who's another guy that I thought last game, that Lindholm line was good, I thought. You know, they had some chances, but they were played a really good 200-foot game. So I think guy, the, when you look like lines like that, how they played last game, people want to be part of that um, by doing the right things. You've got the three centers now playing in those spots, which on the surface gives you a lot of center depth. But do you have enough winger depth for that to be sustainable to play Miller, PD, and, and Lindholm? Well, you got to remember Teddy too. Teddy's a yeah. great fourth line. You know, if he's going to play the fourth line, I, I, I like the balance. Um, <clears throat> hey, listen, we're playing a team. Sidney Crosby had Gensel, Rust, um, Scott Will. He had four or five pleather. We just rotated guys in, and he made it work. So um, you can't go and get. We can't just go and get fifty goal scores. You know, you just you, you can't go get free agents at 10, 20. Like, you got to make it work. And we have, I mean, you took those four center. They're as good as they're in the, in, in the Pacific, I think. And there's depth there. So, like, we got to make it work. What the schedule? Uh, you know, guys kind of admitted that they laid that egg against Seattle, yeah. but it came at the end of a pretty rough stretch. <clears throat> you guys have a pretty good one coming up. A lot of home games, yeah. no back-to-backs. Um, do you feel that's going to help? Yeah, I, I knew this forever was going to be tough. When we, it was the start of it after that, you know, we went, I think we went 4 0 1 or something. We had a, a good run, and then it just, I think our inconsistency came. But that's where it, I've talked to you guys about is you got to play tired. And when you, you don't feel good, you got to be smart. Good angles, let the game come to you. And sometimes when you're, you're pressing, when you're tired, um, or you, you have a, a long shift, you try to. You try to get that one last sh one last rush in when you shouldn't. That's when you lose games. So I think that's the I keep saying next level, but that's what we have to learn. You know, it's no different down the road. You know, we're going to be in some games where you don't feel good. You got to make sure they can hold the fort. And I thought we did most of the year. We've done a good job of that. I just lately we haven't. So hopefully the Boston game gives us a little bit of buy into that. That you know, that's what you have to do when you're tired. If you're tired. Demko starts tonight. Yeah. Uh, how do you manage your goalies kind of down the stretch here? Obviously, you've got Casey who's played well all season long as well. Like, how do you look at their workloads down the stretch? Yeah, I, I rely on Clarky a lot, but you know we're gonna have to get Casey in. I mean, it's you know we got a certain and it's to an exact science of how many games Denver's gonna play. I don't have it to the exact game, but we know there's a range what we Denver to play, and we got to get Casey in here for sure. You know, you gotta, you gotta think long term, um, and I think we really like Denver especially. And Casey, but they get one on one time. Sometimes they he doesn't even have to practice, but he'll go with Clarky in the morning, just them, and, he, and then he'll kick him off the ice. We're going to probably do that in the next two weeks, too. So that will help Demmer save the miles on him, you know, and get Casey some, some more reps. I mean, the poor guy hasn't, you know, he's, he's played long stretches, you know, 10 days or two weeks. So it, it's, it's hard as a backup goaltender to do that. Talk, um, you're strong down the middle, so are the Penguins, yeah. Sid Gino. Uh, Eller and Achari. Yeah. Uh, will you chase any kind of, with the last change at home, chase any kind of matchup that way, or are you just like best on best? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, you, you know, obviously a guy like Sid, and Sid's not a guy that takes long shifts, so some of my theory goes out, you try to get two lines. Some centers stay along, so you have two lines against them. Sid doesn't. Sid's pretty smart. So uh, we had a couple of lines. You know, I, I'd like to make sure that they're out there against Sid. But um, and certain defense part players, but you know it's it's hard to contain them. Um, you know I like matchup to a point. I don't want like, it's not a hard matchup, but there are some some times on the ice you got to get certain guys on against certain people. So I will look for that tonight. Yes.